Michael. Good. Thanks very much. Thank you, friends, brothers and sisters, Javerim. Lovely you're here. Can I just uh, begin by saying to acknowledge uh, how what a wide range of people are here, and I know very well from having been to many meetings before, for good or for ill, uh, that is, for some people it's difficult, it's quite hard to overcome distrust between people to come to a meeting like this, knowing that perhaps there are people they disagree with. Uh, and as we heard before, that our watchword is unity in action. Unity in action, that means that we have a common purpose. We may not have common opinions, we may not have common beliefs, but we have a common purpose. And I learnt that at the feet of Peter Hain. Peter Hain, in the days when we were organising in the Anti-Nazi League, I remember him taking me to one side, as it happens it was in the House of Commons at a meeting. Uh, there was some disagreement going on and he said, no, the issue is something he'd learnt from Southern Africa, that the key, there is one issue. If there's one issue that we have to unite around, then we have that common purpose. And in that, we are united in action. So we must remember that. And that was what also happened in my own family's history, going back to Cable Street, uh, as I will read in just a moment. But before that, let's just remember why people daub swastikas or graffitied Stars of David with slogans on them. Why do they do that? They do that in order to intimidate us. That's what it's for. It's just quite simply a way of trying to say that we want you to be afraid and we want you to be scared. I can hear some shouting in the distance and I fear that that's the same thing going on. People want us to be afraid. So there's people shouting in order to make us afraid. And yet we're standing here united in common purpose, as I said before, and that we should hold to. And people want to intimidate us. And here we are in North London, which is an immensely diverse community. And let's remind ourselves also immensely diverse amongst Jews. Let's remember that just a few yards away almost, Sigmund Freud came here. Sigmund Freud came here from Europe as a refugee out of Austria. Uh, we've already heard of uh, Ed Miliband, but his parents, they came as refugees. And for that, they were mocked in the Daily Mail. They were described as Jewish traitors, a classic anti-Semitic trope that somehow or other Jews are traitors, and so Ed Miliband couldn't be trusted. So we know that there is a wide variety. My own parents, who came out of London's East End, they came to North London, and I've lived in North London the whole of my life. In fact, even the words North London are used on occasions as a trope. Indeed, as Rabbi, Rabbi Julia Neuberg herself actually marked out that when people use that phrase, North London metropolitan elite, that is a coded reference to Jews. And guess who used that phrase if it wasn't our very own Priti Patel, Home Secretary, who used it perhaps in a coded way. So when we talk about North London, we come here, all of us, I guess, or many of us as North Londoners, proud to be North Londoners. In fact, I've wondered whether I should wear a badge that says North London metropolitan elite on it. If anyone would like to make that for me, I'd be very grateful. Okay, so I wanted to read you something rather than repeat anything that anybody else had said. And I wrote this in 2011 when the EDL, uh, in that, that manifestation of the fascist right, thought that they would march through Whitechapel, which was, of course, the very site of Cable Street and the way in which Jews and non-Jews stood together to prevent the British Union of Fascists, led by Oswald Mosley, Oswald Mosley from marching through the East End. And so on that occasion I wrote this, and it's for my parents who were there. In fact, it was their first date, the Battle of Cable Street. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. We're politicos, many of us, and we're quite proud of that sort of thing. You, Connie Ruby Isaacovsky from Globe Road in Bethnal Green. You, Harold Rosen from Nelson Street, Whitechapel. You, Connie, with your mother and father from Romania and Poland. You, Harold, with your family from Poland. You, Connie, you, Harold, your families working in the Schmutter trade. Hats, caps, jackets and gowns. Hats, caps, jackets and gowns. You both saw Hitler on the Pathé News. You both saw Hitler blaming the Jews. You both collected for Spain, collecting for Spain when Franco came. When round the tenements the whisper came, Mosley wants to march here through the East End. So what should it be, to Trafalgar Square to support Spain? No Passeran, or to Gardner's Corner to support Whitechapel. They shall not pass. Say after me. They, they shall, shall not pass. pass.
Round the tenements the whisper came. Fight here in Whitechapel the whisper came. Winning here, we support Spain there. These are the streets where we live. These are the streets where we go to school. These are the streets where we work. They shall not pass. They shall not pass. You, Connie, you, Harold, went to Gardner's Corner. You went to Cable Street. You piled chairs on the barricades. The mounted police charged you. A stranger took you indoors so you could escape a beating. And thousands, hundreds of thousands, came here fighting Mosley, supporting Spain, thinking of Nazi Germany. And Mosley did not pass. You, Connie, you, Harold, and today, the bombs on Guernica in Spain, tomorrow the bombs on London here, and you were bombed. The same planes, the same bombs, landing in the same streets where you had said, they shall not pass. 